Good morning, everyone. Let's uh, begin our day in the book of Proverbs, the 12th chapter, verses 1 uh, through 3, before we have our coffee. Whoso loveth instruction loves knowledge, but he that hates reproof is Brutus. A good man obtains favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. Proverbs chapter 12, verses 1 through 3 from the King James Version Bible. Well, it's April the 4th in the year 2019. Good morning, YouTube kids. Gather around, pull up a chair. Let me know what you're going to share with PD as we begin this glorious day together. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I've got my coffee with cream. Can you see? Let me show you. Watch me spill it, though. Got a little tiny, tiny bit left. Cream and no sugar. How do you take your coffee? You put sugar in your coffee, cream, you drink your coffee black, or you're going to have some lemonade, or you're going to have some sweet tea, or you're going to have some soda, or you're going to have some pop. It's too early for that. Let me know what are you going to share with PD in the comment section below. Do that now. Oh, my, my, my. I had a wonderful day yesterday. It wasn't on YouTube, but I was out first in the city of Pontiac, Michigan, and then I made my way back to the city of Flint and uh, had a wonderful, wonderful time with our ministry and outreach to the homeless and doing what we can in the end days. And let me tell you, Father God is moving. He's moving. He has his anointing on this ministry. And he's moving in a mighty, mighty powerful way. I was contacted by a pastor, a female pastor, that is looking for a place to bring the lost in and to preach Jesus and preach salvation. And we're going to get together uh, early next week on Tuesday. She wants to sit down with me and maybe we can join uh, forces together and be that lighthouse, that city on the hill and call the wonderful people of the city of Flint in to hear the word of God and to give their life to the Lord and to have refuge for the homeless. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Before we go any further, I want to go before the Lord in prayer. I want to lift every one of you up in prayer and this YouTube channel. Let's go before the Ancient of Days. Let's go before Yahweh. Let's bow our heads and bow our hearts and let us pray this morning. Father God, there is no other like you. Father, we just love you. We love you so much, Father God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would pour out your blessings upon your church, upon your fellowship today, Father God, each and every person that is watching this video. Father, that you would just give them an abundance, an abundance of blessings in every area and every aspect of their life. Be with them. Walk with them. Let them feel your presence. This I pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. There is something coming. I can feel it. There is just something that you can't quite put your finger on, but you know, but Things are about to change drastically in this world, on this planet, Earth, that God created. But there, there is a time and there is a season. And we're in the time. We're in the season for drastic, drastic change. I can feel his presence stronger than ever before. He wakes me up in the wee hours of the morning around 2 30 3 o'clock in the morning and i pray and i continue to pray and i can feel the urgency can you feel that something is about to happen something drastic that will change but that will change everything in this world forever i can feel how close that jesus is i can feel how close his presence i can feel his breath that's how close he is 
and I'm ready. I'm getting God bumps now. The hair standing up on my arms. Jesus, how we love you. How we've waited. And we've been waiting patiently for a long time. And I think Father God is about ready to call his children home. I am so ready, let me tell you. I'm just raptured ready. All that's going on in the world, all the evil and all the corruption and the, the kings of the world and all the... Uh, uh, the devil that has wreaked havoc upon the population and upon the church and the great persecutions. I can feel, wouldn't it be wonderful to be a spring bride? I can feel his presence as we're coming upon the crucifixion and the glorious resurrection of our Lord and our Savior. In the time of Pentecost, I can feel it's time to go home. Do you know Jesus today? There's no other way. Call on him. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. There is no more time. I can feel his glorious presence. Father God is just moving, moving, moving. His anointing is on this ministry and on this YouTube channel. I want to thank the following for yesterday that I have given to our ministry and outreach to help the homeless of the inner cities, the uh, invisible people of the street. I want to thank Brother Marcus, $20 offering. I want to thank Sister Linda Diane, and we have been praying for you, Sister. We have been praying for you. Well, let me tell you something. Box after box after box got delivered to my door uh, yesterday filled with supplies for the homeless, uh, nutritional snacks and juice boxes and all the types of food and uh, supplies for the homeless. Brother Steve, Brother Steve, $150 offering. Brother David, $100 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. And well, hold on a minute. Look at this. I told you he's coming. The tomb is empty. We're coming upon the time where the whole world will know and will believe. But for many, it'll be too late. This beautiful card from Sister Mary and Brother Larry, let love the homeless, and an offering of $550 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Join us tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, maybe 7.30. Let me quit saying 8 o'clock. Probably between 7, around 7.30 for our live fellowship, our live online church. Are you in need of healing for your physical body, for your emotional state of mind? Are you in need of change in your life? Join us tonight. The Holy Spirit is going to is going to fall in that room tonight. Around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love you guys. I'll put all the links below to how you also can support this ministry, God's ministry and outreach to the homeless. I'll see you in just a little bit.